Hello my soccer owners. Well, there was a night where my home country qualifies for the Euros and one of my top two favorite teams qualifies for the Euros. And I'm everything but excited. Mainly because the way that they played both of them uh, did not instill much confidence or happy feelings in me. I mean, in the end, yes, you get the job done. I'm talking, of course, of Austria and the Netherlands. You get the job done and that's the most important, but give me a break. You can play better. Uh, yes, I actually watched a lot more than I thought I would and actually started all out in uh, Group I, where I saw a teeny bit of Scotland beating Cyprus 2-1. Um, and then I decided, yeah, let's put Belgium, uh, Russia Belgium on the big screen because, I mean, that's a game for first place. It has at least some implications for the pots. And yeah, I gotta say, I was surprised that Belgium plays in all yellow. Uh, Russia still in the old jerseys. If you haven't heard the story, uh, the new Russia jersey that I showed you uh, in a previous video uh, featured the Russian flag the wrong way around. You know, it's red and then you have the blue and the white, which is the Serbia flag. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, and yeah, so... That's where it goes. Uh, so they still play with the old jersey. I assume they will make an all red or make a big white. I don't know what they will do with the sleeve cuffs. It's a disaster because the players avoided it. Uh, disaster is also what I would call the game for Russia. Um, Belgium really showed that they are probably the favorites at the moment for Euro 2020. Um, impressive. Even with the defense being shaky, the Russians really couldn't test that much, and on front, I mean, if you have two Azars at the Broine and Mertens, phew, this is an attack. Lukaku also, I mean, I'm only mainly mentioning him when the first goal came after the brothers, uh, the two Azar brothers combined, and then uh, Torgan Azar just uh, moves in and slams in the net. A really nice shot. 2-0. Um, I think was Eden Azar again an a nice combination that he uh, from the uh, edge of the box slams into in, into net three nil wonderful pass of Mertens I think just around mid mid um, field uh, into the path of the Bräune Azar runs with it pulls, pulls, pulls it over it's easy for them to make it three nil at the half. The game kind of fell, fell asleep. Uh, Lukaku wanted to get his goal, makes it 4 0, and Russia pulls one back. But to be honest, that was a uh, complete destruction of Russia. Um, also, Kazakhstan beat San Marino 3 1 to round out that group. We have now Belgium firmly established as the group winners, probably the most impressive qualifying performance. Russia safely in second, and Scotland pops up in third place. Who would know? Uh, at the same time as the Russia game, I also watched um, Wales in Azerbaijan, who thankfully got very, very, very early two goals. I have to say those new Wales jerseys look all right. Really got to say they, they look all right. So they got the goal to get a 2-0 win in Azerbaijan. And then one of the big late games to me was Croatia against Slovakia, which was anything but um, straightforward. Slovakia actually... I mean, Croatia was dominating most of the time, but Slovakia got the goal 1-0. Uh, and, you know, I did, a, uh, did do a lot of mental math and I thought, think if it would have stood this result, then Wales would have been eliminated. Slovak in a really comfy position. Um, however, Croatia took a little while, but then in the 55th, uh, they get 1-1. Um, one, one, uh, a little bit later, make it 2-1. And, and then a red card from Mark, and it's uh, in the end 3-1. I think Perisic was among the goal scorers. Uh, so it ends 3-1 for uh, Croatia, which, puts, which qualifies Croatia. And gives a now for the final game. We'll see there is uh, Wales playing at home to Hungary. Given that Slovakia will beat Azerbaijan, um, whatever result has a different uh, team qualifying. If Wales win, they're in. If Hungary win, they're in. If it's a draw and Slovakia wins, then Slovakia is in. So that's probably the most intriguing matchup um, coming in on match day 10. Then on the Main screen, I had the Netherlands playing in Northern Ireland, and yeah, this was 
if I wish Kumo would not have made those comments, to be honest, because uh, really he kind of edged on the Irish and they, uh, at the beginning, they tried to press uh, the Dutch into mistakes and Silesen always made a mistake. And then in a cor corner kick, uh, that could have been easy, easily been a goal. Of course, on the other side, then the Dutch uh, got more control of the game, had a, a hit the bar by, the, by themselves, but um, control without much uh, penetration because uh, they don't have a striker. If the Dutch had had a striker, I would call them uh, among the top favorites that way i think the dutch will you know quarterfinalish i think not not much more they have a pretty good team uh when i look at defense and midfield i'm really worried about the strike force and if memphis is not playing then um, up front there's not much coming and yeah so uh dutch controlling but then a penalty call and it was the referee that gave this penalty uh against lusk for brugge uh so i hate his guts anyway i uh, again this penalty was not really i mean yes it hits the arm but the arm was here i mean this was much lesser penalty it was feldman than the one that he had to give him up against chelsea so yeah fortunately no no i put it over the bar nil nil second half i mean it's all possession in the, ne the netherlands but no chances i mean it was almost comically how how they uh Played themselves in good positions and then found another pass to make it worse. Uh, Northern Ireland tries to get something but ends nil-nil. At the same time, Germany easily 4-0 over Belarus. Took a little while, but then the goals came quick. And so now, Germany is in uh, firm control. And yeah, Germany will probably win this group ahead of the Netherlands, which might have implications on the pots because the winner of that group is in pot one. The loser most likely uh, lose a second in uh, pot two. Northern Ireland out of the running has to hope for the playoffs. And then we are at my home country. <laughs> Slovenia got a kind of messy win against Latvia. 1-0. Austria in their wonderful black turquoise jerseys. <sighs> I, yeah, the less I say about the ice, I said enough already about those. Uh, yeah, Austria is dominant. It gets a very early goal. Nice pass from Lina on into Alaba's path. Anatovic not moving, so it's not offside. Makes it 1 0. Then have chances. Don't make them. Don't make them. Uh, this can go bad. Well, shortly after the half, they have another big chance. And then after Korn, Korn kick the ball, falls to Lina, who makes it 2 0. And at that point, you would think that Austria will play this home easily, 3, 4, whatever. No, actually it was Northern Macedonia who had chances and finally the last goalkeeper that finally was playing in goal uh, makes actually quite some good saves. One from a corner kick that was a um, direct corner, more or less. So, yeah, uh, good that he was in there. Uh, Northern Macedonia only manages a goal very, very, very late uh, in stoppage time. 2-1 means Austria is qualified. Yay! Of course, people are now uh, pressing that Foda's counter gets uh, prolonged. Honestly, I hope that Foda... You cannot watch the game he wants to play, them to play. This could be such an exciting team if you have an offensive medical, but Foda, no. I hope he does not get prolonged and that they find a better coach. I am just fear the opposite. Poland wins in Israel 2-1. Uh, there was a little in incident where a spectator ran onto field, even attacked the goalie, whatever. It was not pretty. And Poland had a 2-0 lead very quickly. So uh, that was fantastic. Poland wins this group ahead of Austria. Slovenia is now uh, in third, Northern Macedonia in fourth, and Israel in fifth. What I want to go now through are the qualified teams, how the playoffs are and how the pots will, would look like. So uh, we have here the qualified teams plus my projections and we see Portugal will probably qualify today. Uh, Switzerland, Denmark, I think in that order, although if Denmark wins against Ireland, they are first. And I think now Wales, for the first time something changed here. I think Wales is now in the best position because they have the home game against Hungary. I think they will qualify. That means that in the playoffs, we get the following pairings, where um, Iceland, Romania, Israel, Hungary in for the uh, League A playoffs. Then we have Bosnia, Northern Ireland and Slovakia, Ireland in the League B playoffs. Uh, Scotland, Bulgaria, uh, Norway, Serbia in the League C playoffs and Georgia, Belarus and Macedonia, Northern Macedonia against the Kosovo in the League D playoffs. Uh, quickly, I would expect... Um, Iceland from League A, League B, hmm, Bosnia or Ireland, 
No, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Slovakia. I say Slovakia for now. Uh, then I would say Serbia, although Norway has probably a good chance there. And the last ones, I would say the Kosovo from what I've seen. But, you know, all to be decided. Let's look how the pots are standing. Uh, so this is where the groups are currently are. But, you know, it's a very uneven picture. And first of all, we need to remove the sixth place teams from the standings and we get the following standings with the following pots. So the pots are again the best six group winners are in pot one, then the next remaining group winners in pot two, the best two group uh, runner-up are in pot two, then all but the worst are in pot three and pot four. So currently it stands like this. Um, not very happy, especially with, I think that Wales will leapfrog Hungary. But we'll see that uh, we'll keep probably hung Hungary in the running here. Um, but, you know, uh, it's still very... So, for instance, Austria has already played eight uh, games and all the others have seven. So, Russia has also eight games, but they look uh, kind, of, kind of strong in position. So, I again... Um, Put looked at odds, converted those into pro probabilities, and uh, consequently into expected points. So the expected standings would look in this would look like this. So we have England, Czechs would stay like that. Uh, Ukraine, Portugal, Germany, Ned Netherlands would finish. Switzerland just ahead of Denmark because of expected points. And then here's the uh, one surprise. Hungary still remains in there because the game is a little bit more equal. I would still put Wales in there, but I think. Since Hungary is a host nation, maybe let's leave it in there. Everything else is kind of as expected. So we would have the following pots. Belgium, Italy, Germany, Ukraine, England and Spain in pot 1. France, Poland, Croatia, Switzerland, Netherlands and Russia in pot 2. In pot 3, the Czechs, Portuguese, Turkey, Denmark, Austria, Sweden. In pot 4, Finland and Hungary and the playoff winners. If I go from this, then the playoffs winners would be... I would put actually Wales now from the league... Uh, B playoff in there, and so I add to pot for Iceland, Wales, Serbia, and the Kosovo. And let's mark the home nations here because that will be now crucial. Uh, so you see, we have one more home nation in Hungary uh, qualified in this scenario right, right now. So, therefore, here are the uh, six groups, and we see we have two groups where we have two teams in there that's group B and group F. And we basically have to assign the teams uh, from to their home um, uh, groups. And so we'll get the following uh, setup. We have Italy. We don't need to flip-flop anything. So now it works out finally. Italy in Group A. In Group B, we have Russia and Denmark. Coin flip decides who has the home game uh, against each other. Then in Group C, we have the Netherlands. Group uh, D, England. Group uh, E, we have Spain. Group F, we have Germany and Hungary. Again, coin flip decides. Given that Russia is already in Group B, uh, we know that Ukraine has to go in Group C and that means Belgium is in Group B. So we know actually there will not be much of a draw in uh, for Pot 1. Um, now Pot 2, just randomly distribute and I'll get... The following, and this was really a random draw, Italy, France is already a big one, then Switzerland, Croatia, Poland, and let's finish the draw right ahead, and we get, we would get those potential groups. I think Group A is a complete uh, group of death, Group F is politically very interesting. Uh, and I also think Group D with Wales uh, getting against Switzerland and Austria, I mean England and Wales would have a more or less a home field advantage because that's played in Glasgow and in London. But yeah, I think those would be interesting groups. Also note, I would have Spain and Sweden go play against each other. Again, it's just fun, but this is how Euro 2020 could look like. Let me know what you think about all this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, found it interesting. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.